Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today is the day we've been waiting for this ever since we were sent a little bottle, jar, Whatever. jar, <laughs> I think, of Marmite from our friend Terry. Thank you again, Terry. Yeah. We tried Marmite on toast with some butter and yep. liked it. Yeah. And we've tried Marmite crisps. Uh -huh. And we liked them, so some of you said we were asking different ways that we could use it. We thought it might be good to season beef in particular. Yeah, like on a roast or something like yeah, that. Yeah, which of course then you did chime in and say, yes, yes, that's good. And then a couple of you said, have you seen Nigella Lawson's Marmite Pasta, which I never thought about it with pasta. No, we had not seen it. So thank you for those that uh, brought that to our attention. This is her recipe and it was very simple and we thought, why not? Why we, not? We already had spaghetti on hand and, <laughs> we Parmesan, had Marmite. <laughs> and Parmesan cheese and water to boil the noodles. That's it. That's all. Yeah, right? and butter. And butter. Yeah. yeah. So let's take a little taste and then we'll talk all some right. more. What do you think? Yeah, let's try it. So Parmesan cheese, um, I mean, yum. Pasta, yum. Yep, yum, yum. Marmite, yum. In certain amounts, I don't know. Yeah. How much was in here? A teaspoon? Tables. Yeah, a teaspoon. Ta okay. Teaspoon. A teaspoon in a whole box. Okay. Ready? This guy is very, very subtle. Mm -hmm. It's just like a hint. You know, it's like, um, uh, you know, like a regular old pasta dish, like um, like butter and garlic, um, just simple noodles. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, doesn't have an uh, overpowering taste of Marmite. Right. In fact, if I didn't know Marmite was in here, I would know that there was a special ingredient or a different ingredient in here, a seasoning or something in here. But I don't know that I would say, oh, that's Marmite. It kind of tastes like beef bouillon. Yeah. Kind of, you know, or like roast seasoning. But it's a very, very, very subtle. I think I would want more. I would. I think if we made it again, I would put a little bit more mm -hmm. of the Marmite in there because it's... It's a little too subtle for me. This is very comforting. This is the kind of thing that maybe I wouldn't eat for dinner necessarily, but lunch. I can yeah, see good this lunch. For sure. For sure. Jinx. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Good job, Nigella. I, I throw a little garlic in there. I think yeah. Good. Yeah, I do too. Um, mm -hmm. So we made the recipe as is, and we filmed a little short video I'm not sure if that's out first or if this is out first, whatever, but um, check that out if you're interested in how to make it. But like I said, it's Marmite. Marmite. Three tablespoons of butter, mm -hmm. a, table, or a teaspoon of Marmite. Um, package of spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was 12 ounces, so I didn't use a whole package. Uh, our package of spaghetti is 16 ounces, so I just kind of eyeballed it. Yeah, and usually what I do is I just make a whole pack if it says 12 ounces and i have 16 ounces then i just adjust the recipe a little bit to use all of the spaghetti mm -hmm. you know what i mean because what are you going to do with four ounces of spaghetti yeah but um anyway i do like the ratio and everything but like you said i think i could take a little bit more even yeah. still isn't that crazy and and what would i do different i i think i i would love to add a little garlic like i said and then probably a little more salt i I was worried about adding salt because of, um, you know, the Marmite being kind of salty and everything. I don't know about salt. I mean, I could see it taking salt and it being fine, but I think for sure pepper. Oh, But I yeah. put pepper on, like, everything. Pepper would be good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a good basic pasta dish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very simple. Very comforting. I can see it being the kind of thing, you know how, when I don't feel good, I always want mac and cheese or something like that. Just yeah. kind of comforting, but not not spicy, not 
saucy, not, you know. Ooh, mac and cheese with a little bit of marmite in there? That could be Uh-oh. good. <laughs> I'm sure that's a thing because uh, they were saying grilled cheese sandwiches. So oh, yeah. we still have some marmite left that we need to use up. In fact, I think we might end up getting some more. Yeah. But we definitely want to try grilled cheese sandwiches still. We definitely, some people said take a crumpet and spread it on there. Mm -hmm. And then cheese. Right. So we're going to try that. But if you have other recommendations of how we should use up our Marmite, let us know down in the comments. This is a winner. Yeah. I don't know how many people have tried this. I don't know if this is like an old staple, you know, right. or if this is something that Nigella came up with or if it's been around forever or, you know, whatever. Know You'll, I'm sure you guys will let us know. Yeah, but let us know. This is, this is a winner. I would say... I will. I would add a little bit to it, like you said, pepper. But I, that's my own preference. I put pepper on Everything. everything. Yeah, me too. Mhm. Mm me too. So let us know. Like I said, how else we should use up our marmite, and if you have had marmite pasta before, and what you thought of it. This was <laughs> fun. I I'm really enjoying trying all these different things. So right. we want to do too. some more cooking. Uh, so we are going in slowly. <laughs> Right? We've done a, I know this isn't cooking, but we've done <laughs> a crisp sandwich. Yeah. And. Uh, Did the Marmite toast. Yeah. And I we definitely want to do like a proper English breakfast. Yeah. Like a fry up. Yeah. We definitely want to do that. And we want to try the English beans on toast. Uh, and I know to use a knife and fork. <laughs> not, not pick it up. Which is funny because that's so my instinct. That, you know, because it's toast. You would think yeah, you would pick, pick it, it up. up. Yeah. Yeah. So um, thank you. We always appreciate that so much when you leave us all the little tips and tricks and comments. And by and large, the most of most of you are super supportive. Mm -hmm. We get your, you know, we've we've been called uh, dirty words like Trumpers before. <laughs> We're just Americans, people. <laughs> we, you know, we can't. You know, we can't help who the president was. Yeah. We don't was. get into that. We don't get into that on our channel. But uh, anyway, most of you are super, super, super supportive and love seeing us try all of these. Yeah. Things. Thanks from your home. Yeah. Yeah. We can't wait to try more. That's right. So uh, HP sauce is high, HP sauce. high, high, high on my list of things that yeah. I want to try Me too. next. Also coming soon, we're going to be starting some British TV shows. We love British music already. Yeah. I mean, I have loved bands from the UK from as long as I can remember. Queen is my favorite band. Um, yeah, you like a bunch of punk bands too. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, she does. The Clash and Sex Pistols and yeah, all yeah. I could uh, yeah. Let's not go down that road because I could. Not, go yeah, that could be a separate video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, and we love Coldplay. Like yeah. that's probably our favorite band that we listen. Right I now, mean, yeah, our current. Yeah, yeah. Um, but soon we're going to be watching some British TV shows, and we have asked for recommendations before. But in case you're new and you want to chime in, or if you didn't chime in before, you want to chime in again, leave your recommendations down in the comments so you can let us know what to watch. Here's what we'd like to do. We'd like to have, this is how we watch TV. We'd like to have something kind of action-y, something maybe mm -hmm. kind of funny. Um, and we tried to watch the young ones and it wasn't working for us. I used to watch the young ones when I was a young one. I loved <laughs> that show and I really want John to watch it. But so something, you know, maybe action, something funny, maybe a reality show. Yeah, like so a cooking show. We or might do something. British Bake Off. We, I mean, we've watched bit, bits and pieces of that for sure. But yeah. um, we'd like to do reality and action and a comedy. So if you have. Great recommendations for those kind of things. Let us know. Let, yeah, let us know. We both already love Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Um, and we thought we might maybe start going back through that. That will take a while to get to get through, but that would be fun to go back and watch. Oh, I'm ready to start. Yeah. Let's do it again. Yeah. So, all those comments down below. If you're not subscribed, please stop what you're doing and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. We put out videos every single day. Uh, we never know what time, so make sure you hit the little bell so you can be notified when our videos go up. We never know what time. We never know how many. We never know no. what it's going to be. Uh, you know. Mostly it's food, as you know. 
but the weather is changing and the seasons of life are changing and we are in a position where we can travel a little bit more soon. As long as we're, <laughs> you know, careful. Soon, yeah. So um, make sure the bell is on so you're notified when our videos go up. Lots yeah. of exciting things coming. Otherwise, it's just a guessing game if you don't hit that bell. That's right. I mean, just like it is for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come find us on social media. All of our links are in our banner channel banner. The place where all of our pictures are. You can see our little links there. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. Pinterest. Twitter. Twitter. Facebook, Instagram. That's Those, them. Yeah. Also, uh, we used to go live. If you've been around for a while, you know that we used to go live and play games and chat with you. And that was always really fun. And oh, enjoyable. yeah. We need to do that. So then YouTube changed some things. We were having some issues with going live. But we are ready, I think, to go oh, live again. Yeah. So let us know. I want to know from you. We always want to play a game when we go live because yeah. it's something, you know, we can ask a question and you can guess and the person that didn't ask the question yeah. can guess and well, we can chat. We can kind of all yeah. play it together. So let us know if you want to see us do that. Um, we've also been asked to open a box live or do some live tastings. And I, I mean, we're up for that too. But if you have any suggestions about what you'd like to see us do live, let us know. Some people said a challenge would be fun, like minute to minute little challenges. Uh, we're going to do a, a left hand versus right hand challenge uh, pretty soon. So if it's something like that you'd like to see, let us know. Yeah. Now, if you like Marmite. Which we do. Which we do. Or pasta, which who doesn't? Love pasta. Yeah. Or us or the video yeah. give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel when you do that that's all we have for today that's it guys we're gonna go eat our pasta yeah see you sometime see you next time guys <laughs> bye bye